Inshallah, I was asking to be nothing. That Allah is great and let Allah's rahmah and mercy to dress us. Nawli Allah, our fuluq al mashhoon. There are loaded souls, loaded ships because this is from the reality of Sayyidina Nuh teaching that, no, no, your, your ship, you have to build a ship too. Everybody has to build a ship and that is your soul. And your soul becomes powerful through testing and through faith. And when you build your soul, it knows its way back to Allah doesn't go in a different direction, the nafs goes in a different direction. The nafs wants to play with shaitan, the soul has no interest in that reality. If you build the soul with imtihan and with testings, with faith and with good actions that Allah and Prophet have subscribed for us, the soul becomes powerful like a furuq, like a ship. Allah says, I'm going to show you my signs upon the horizon and within yourself so that you gain clarity and faith. The sign within the self is far greater to understand. The sign upon the horizon we can see that that sun and the power of the sun and this sun is one billionth the size of the pistol star that is in the center of the entire universe. What light, what energy, what realities are emanating from that pistol star. It represents the light that make your life and the center of your life to be moving towards the light. Leave that which is physical because it's perishing and by its nature it's perishing. Follow the haqq and the haqq is the light. imitated light of what we see when you look into the stars and look into the heavens, you, you begin to understand Allah's izzat, Allah's order, what Allah wants from us. That our earth we want, we don't want, we are in taslim and we are submitting around the sun, taking the energy from the sun, taking our breath from that sun and, and what it does with the plants. All of Allah's might is shown in that. And that's the imitated light, the reality and the real light is Nur Muhammad When Allah begin to dress their souls from that reality, they begin to speak from Surah Al Qamar, the realities of the shining moon. The reality of the moon and what it is encompassing, what Allah is dressing that surah and dressing their realities with. And we talked before, they make a life in which we are acting as a moon following the sun and the reality of Prophet That we seek the light, we put our focus upon the light that is the nur of iman. To love Prophet more than you love yourself. That is the reality of the full moon. It doesn't think for itself, about itself. Its only job, focus on the sun, focus on the light. As it focuses on the light, it provides an essential service for us. You have no life on this planet if it's just the sun. If it's just the sun, there's no growth. All the vegetation is growing from that moon and give, constantly giving us an energy, constantly giving us a light.
means what comes from the moon gives us existence on this life. So Allah is just saying this is all essential. Almost 150,000 Canadians a year will use a homeless shelter. These people need food, clothing, and access to basic hygiene. Fatima Zara Helping Hand is a non-profit organization with the goal of helping the underprivileged in Canada. Along with our active support for recent immigrants and refugees, one of our ongoing initiatives is to feed and clothe the homeless. For more than a decade, we have provided hundreds of thousands of hot meals to some of the most vulnerable and needy. We continue these efforts with several monthly initiatives. For more information or to donate, please visit our website, nurmuhammad.com. The highest purpose in life is to seek knowledge. Seek knowledges of the full moon seek knowledges of the reality of light, Nur al-Anwar who said, it, Asrar, who said many times that if your life is, is not about seeking the reality of Prophet then we're not reaching towards eternal realities that dress the soul. So then they teach us to go to the common. They are the perfected ones. Any one of my companions you follow, they are like a star in a dark night and they guide you. But Prophet specifically mentioned these Khulafahi Rashidin and Mahdiin, they are Kamilin, they are complete. And what Prophet wanted for us, keep your life amongst those whom are full moons, they're common. And the Ali Haqqaiq and the people of the Turuqs, all their shaykhs trace their lineage back to Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq, Prophet and Imam Ali. The two doors of the Holy Qumran. And this was a warning for us, the Prophet said, you have to be connected to this Sahabi. Which one are you going to take? For the realities and haqqaiq, I gave two of my companions special ways and they were both related on the hijra. The movement towards the city of light, Prophet gave an example in his life because nothing is at one time with Prophet it has to be eternal, it has to be a sharat, that why I did what I did. Imam is, is the side of the moon that you don't see. His sacrifice to me, his reality to me is real. Forty-two of the turuqs are from that reality. And my Khalil and my best friend, my companion, I took to the cave. That is a completely different reality. Going still to the same city, but they carry different realities. Is that hijra immediately show that. Sayyidina Ali Salaam is going to be one way because he's one side of the moon. And the face of the, of the nation that becomes the face of Ahl Sunnah wa Jama'ah, Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq going another way. 
And as soon as they enter into Medina the Munawwara, they complete the cycle and the reality of that moon and the moon of guidance. Allah then describes that the time has come and the moon has split. And deep understanding is that when Allah is that when you see the clock, the day has finished. This, the, this zaman is finishing. So then they went literally and they said, look you make hajj, you see a clock. The time can be a reference to spirituality or more literal so that Allah said, don't be confused. If you're not believing their spiritual interpretation, you go for hajj, you see a clock. Allah is saying, now the time has come, the moon split. Zahiri, when the moon splits, the Shia and Sunnis are fighting because they're external and they're using bad characteristics. Means every sign that Prophet Sassan brought for us are all now manifesting. That they split, the nation is split and as a result of their split, they're fighting and killing each other. And you see a clock on Hajj, the world is finished for you. Prepare yourselves for the next phase of life. Let your faith be strong and prepared for the difficulties that are coming upon earth. It's not a time to play and it's not a time to try to build your dunya. Whatever you're building, build for the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad and for the attention of Allah when they come to the people of reality, they say, oh, you people specialize in alchemy, make this metal turn to gold for me. Because they read some books. Hey, the real alchemy is to take the trash and your five dollars that Allah is going to punish you for and to make it to be a house of paradise. That's the alchemy. Allah is going to question you with your rizq and your sustenance. That what you're spending it on, your cars, your house, your entertainment. And you think you're going to get through your questioning for that? The real alchemy of awliyaullah is to take what you are accountable for and take it. We have it on the wall, take from them because they're not going to give it willingly. Like pulling their teeth, pull their teeth, pray for them. Your prayer is going to be an ease for them. That's the alchemy of haqqaiq, is to take from people and to make for them a paradise on this dunya. And by means of that paradise they be saved in dunya and in akhirah. The Prophet and what you're going to come to the table with Sayyidina Muhammad That you spent more on your car than you spent on Allah every month. You're going to sit at Prophet Sassan's table with that? But then they come to the alchemy and say, give me the trash, give me things you are not going to use, give me this, give me that, give me that and then make for you a paradise circle. That with that amal, with that action, with that reality you go before Prophet Sassan. Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem, Ya Habib al I tried my best to do something for you to spread your light and spread your love and make a flag and be an ambassador of love, an ambassador of your way. Welcome to Rumi Rose Garden Cafe. We offer an exclusive line of more than 40 teas, custom blended with ingredients from around the world. Rumi also offers an excellent locally roasted Italian coffee and other hot beverages.
And Allah describes, if you're going on haq, your wife and your children are going to be a fitna for you. Because all you're going to do is keep whispering in the person's ear, stop what you're doing, stop what you're doing, stop what you're doing. Because as soon as you move on to haq and your heart has love of Prophet and that I have to serve Prophet I have to make my house and my family to be safe, I have to make my life to be safe. If they don't have that level of Iman, they're constantly eating your hands and feet to drop what you're doing. And then when you end up in Jahannam, they say, how the heck you got us here? They will be, beat you anyway. But if difficulty comes and they were right, and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Sassim is dressing you and blessing you, and you find yourself not like that sick, and you find yourself not like that in difficulty, and you find yourself sitting on a paradise rug and a paradise association, then you should find yourself to be very fortunate and that you were rightly guided because they followed the full moon. Amarun, that dress from Qaf al Quran al Majid. Their souls not like your soul, their souls Allah created their souls, dressed them from Holy Qur'an, created their insan and destined them for dunya. And they are from Ibadul Rahman and whom Allah says, we've given that light, we've given that light. If we didn't give that light, there's no way you can get that light. It's a ni'mat and a gift from Allah and then Allah is describing Prophet describing every Jummah for us because what Prophet wants is when you recite it, He's dressing it. When you recite it, Prophet is dressing it. If you come with a sincere heart, Prophet is going to guide you by Allah Guide them to be with my Qamars, Ya Rabbi. That they are from Rashidin al Mahdiin, the Sifat al Rashid. Al Rashid Allah dresses them from the Sifat of guidance. And their souls are dressed from Sifat al Rashid, Abdul Rashid. And when Allah guides, they are the most fortunate because Allah is guiding them. Then Allah says, those whom I guided their consciousness, I teach them. No book needs to teach them. They merely sit in tafakkur and all lights enter into their hearts. If they need from awliyaullah, if they need from anbiya, if they need from whatever Allah created, appear to them and begin to teach their heart. They are Abdul Rashid whom Allah guided. Then Allah takes them to the meme and makes them to be Mahdiin. These are the Muhammadan had. Allah dressed them from Hidayat and the highest level of Hidayat is from Al Mahdiin. That they carry the light of Imam Mahdi salam and they are Mahdiin preparing the world for their arrival and the completion of holy hadith of Prophet that one from my grandchildren will come, the world will not end until he arrives. So Allah has no time. There's no clock up there, Allah say, okay now send it. The time is dunya, the sun and the moon. No time, Allah says, that light of Al-Mahdi is completely covering whom I'm giving guidance and making them to be from Mahdiyoon. That it's the highest Muhammadan guidance and the highest light of Sayyidina Muhammad begin to encompass within their being and their Rashidin and Mahdiyeen and they are under the hands of these Khulafa. That they take from the hand of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq, they take from the hand of Imam Ali Salam. They take and they learn from Sayyidina Umar al-Farooq. All of the, these khulafa are encompassing the reality of the heart. That the uloom and the knowledge that Sayyidina Uthman is a sending of compilation of Qur'an. Sayyidina Umar, stand for Allah's truth within your heart to come against all these falsehoods. And then take you to Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, Imam Ali, and then into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad 
تفسير سورة الفاتحة Yeah.